Cupford McDonald. I'm from Royal Bay, Prince Edward Island, Canada. We're going to show you how to tie the green machine fly. I've been a fly fisherman for 40 years and I've been doing this for years and hopefully we can learn you something here. Okay. Okay, we're going to tie the green machine. We're going to tie it on a number 10 3906B hook and I'm going to be using 8 odd thread, very fine thread. Uh, it's not for a beginner to use this fine a thread because you can, it's easily broken. Now I'm use, going to be a tag with uh, silver tinsel. Is this the same tinsel that you would have at Christmas? Uh, no, strong, very, very strong stuff. We put a, a coating of tinsel on. And we move my tread back. And we put a green tag on. What is the material in the tag? It's a uh, uni stretch material. We put a green tag on. Pull the back of it over to lock it on so it don't slide off. Then we will put a red uni stretch material on. Lock it again. Now we're ready to, for the green. <coughs> we're going to use green deer hair. It's natural <coughs> deer, white deer hair dyed green. We'll what they call spin it on the hook. There's two or three different ways of doing it. This is the way I do it. I Take one piece and I'll put with the light tread you can't pull too hard, just enough to make it spin. One more clump and we'll Is this a very popular fly in very the Surrey area? Very popular fly, yeah. I've read books where different fishermen say if they were only allowed to take one fly to go fishing, they would take the green machine. It comes in a lot of different variations of patterns and styles. And what are other popular flies in the Surrey area? Mosquito is a popular fly. Anything for for the sea trout, they use orange shrimp. A, sh a lot of shrimp patterns. I'm in the giving them a haircut now. There is a lot of catch and release here in the Surrey area. A is lot. this a barbless hook? This is a barbless hook, yes. Uh, yes, there's a lot of catch and release. That uh, is a very good conservation measure. To don't take any more than you need. And 
a lot of people enjoy the fishing so much that they just put them back and, and too bad everybody wouldn't do it but they don't Okay, we got them shaped now like a like an egg. We'll put the the hackle on them, and that consists of a a, a brown feather. I take the brown feather, I strut it in at the front of the hook. I take the tread to the back of the hook and leave it there. <coughs> now I put my feather in. About four turns is pretty, pretty good for it. And then I come back to the front with the, with the tread. This locks the feather in, that is if the trout bites the hook, his teeth won't cut, cut the hook and it'll stay in place. Whip finish the head. <coughs> Some people use a whip finisher, I just use my fingers. Now we will glue the head. And we have a finished fly. <laughs>